Imagine that we have a sword, and imagine that somehow this sword gets swung, and when it hits something, this hit method is called. Now, say that when we hit an enemy, we want to damage it. All we'd have to do is check if the thing we hit is an enemy, and if it is, we would call its damage method. And this is all well and good, but now imagine that we want to break a crate whenever we hit it with the sword. We can, of course, pretty much just replicate what we did with the enemy, which, again, is all well and good, but now imagine that we have some water that we want to splash when we hit it with the sword. So, again, we apply the exact same logic that we we've used for the past two things. Now, instead of adding something, imagine that we don't want crates to be breakable anymore. So we'd have to change up our crate script, which would break our sword script, because the sword script directly depends on the crate for having a break method. To make this a billion times easier, we can use interfaces. An interface looks like this. Interfaces can have properties, methods, and variables. The catch being that every property, method, and variable must be public. And because everything is public, we don't have to be explicit when we declare things as public. Another special thing about interfaces is that methods cannot have bodies, which I'll get to in a bit. But anyway, an interface is like a contract for a class. Everything that we put inside of this interface must also be in the class that implements it. As an example, if we create an interface called iHittable, which starts with an I because that's standard convention, we can add a method to it called hit, which will force every class that implements this interface to have a public void hit. So yeah, we can make our enemy class implement this interface by adding a comma with the interface coming after it. And on a side note, another cool thing is that classes can implement multiple interfaces. But anyway, you'll notice that we have an error, and to fix this, we can just add the public void hit method. Inside of the method, we can add whatever we want. This means that in the enemy, we can make it take damage. And if the crate script implements this interface, we can make the crate break. And finally, in the water script, we can make the water splash. To finish this all off, we have to fix our code in the sword. Now that all three of these things implement the I hittable interface, we don't actually have to do three if statements. Instead, we can just check if the thing we hit is an I hittable. And if it is, we just call its hit method. We're able to do this because every script that implements I hittable is guaranteed to have this public void hit. What's great about what we just did is that the sword doesn't actually need to know what it hit. All it needs to know is that it hits something that can be hit, and it will, well, hit it. This means that whenever we want to add a new thing that is hittable, we never actually need to change the sword code. All we have to do is make it implement the I hittable interface, and we're good to go. Now, interfaces are great and all, but there are some downsides. One being that, at the time of recording, Unity doesn't support default interface implementation. This is why we have to create methods without a body, and we can't assign default values to variables. Another downside of interfaces is that they aren't serializable. This also means that you can't make them show in the inspector in Unity. Before I close this out, some of you might be wondering when you should use interfaces instead of inheritance, or vice versa. A good rule to follow is if it is something, then use inheritance. And if it does something, then use an interface. But yeah, I'm done. Hopefully you got something out of this video, and if you still have questions, feel free to ask in the comments or in my Discord server. Thank you for a thousand subscribers, go follow my Twitter, and thank you to Space by Pludgy and Apt Rock for boosting the Discord server multiple times. And yeah, hit like if you like, also hit like if you dislike, and please subscribe. And have a great day.